surely your Lord is ever on the watch. As for a man, when his Lord tests him and thus gives him honor and bounties, he says, My Lord has honored him. But when he tests him and thus straightens his provision for him, he says, My Lord has disgraced him. No, but you do not honor the orphan, and do not encourage one another to feed the needy, and you devour the inheritance of the sleeping gulf, and love wealth and excessive love. No, when the earth will be crushed thoroughly to be turned into bits, and your Lord will come, and the angels as well lined up in rows, and Jehannam on that day will be brought forward. It will be the day when man will realize the truth, but from where will he take advantage of such realization? He will say, oh, with that I had sent ahead some good deeds for this, my life. So no one can punish like he will punish that day, nor can anyone shackle like he will shackle. As for an obedient man, it will be said to him, O oh, content soul, come back to your Lord, well pleased, well pleasing. So enter among my special servants and enter my paradise. Salawat. Thank you, brothers, for that beautiful passage. Now I'd like to invite Sheikh Asad Darsi for a few words. Salawat. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa alihi tayyibin al tahirin. In his name, the Lord of Al Hussein. In his name, the love of Al Hussein. In his name, the goal of Al Hussein. My dear brothers and sisters, in faith and in humanity, we're all gathered here today for the annual walk with Hussein. And indeed, as we walk with Hussein, we remind ourselves of who is Hussein and what he stood for. Who is Hussein? Imam Al Hussein is the pinnacle of human excellence and virtue. Imam Al Hussein is the inspiration for freedom lovers. Imam Al Hussein is the role model for justice seekers. Imam Al Hussein is the most perfect servant of the most perfect being. So we invite everybody whether they agree with us or disagree with us. We invite them all to walk with Hussein for justice, for freedom, for human dignity. Why should we walk with Hussein? We walk with Hussein because he walked so that we may accompany him towards freedom, towards justice, towards human dignity. We walk with Hussein today to remind ourselves of these eternal values that have gone missing in human society over the past years and decades, unfortunately. We walk with Hussein and we remind ourselves as we walk, as we walk and take each step, we say this to Al Hussein, O oh Hussein. We are here to stand by you. And we declare this to all of humanity, that we as human beings deserve the best, no matter who we are, no matter where we are from, no matter what we believe in. We remind ourselves that, O oh Hussein, we walk with you today, so that no oppressor, no human being may subjugate other human beings. No person may stand and say to others and subjugate them 
through ignorance, through exploitation, and through oppression. And as we stand today, we remind ourselves that Hussein is not limited to Karbala and the day of Ashura. The message of Hussein stands alive today and it will continue till human beings inhabit this earth. And we stand here today to remind ourselves that, O oh Hussein, we walk with you today to declare that we await another Hussein who will come, who will fill this earth with justice, with freedom, with peace, and with human dignity. Let's respond to that with Labbaika Ya Hussein. 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 With you, O Hussein. With you, O Hussein, all together. With you, O Hussein. 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 As we end and as we begin the walk, I remind ourselves of the beautiful saying of the great grandson of Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam. As he cried out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as he cried out in his prayers, and he said, Oh my Lord, send your special mercy. And we can feel that mercy of Allah raining down on us. Imam al sadiq the sixth holy Imam alayhi salam, in one of his prayers was calling out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and saying, O oh Allah, have special mercy on those faces that are tanned by the sun in the name of Hussein. O oh Allah, have your special mercy on those sheikhs that weather the climate, the elements, to move in the path of Al Hussein. O oh Allah, have your special mercy on those tears that run in the name of Al Hussein out of mercy and peace for us. O oh Allah, have your special mercy on those hearts that are engulfed with flames because of the tragedy, not only of Al Hussein, but by the tragedy of the human beings around us across the world. And O oh Allah, have mercy on those cries that people let out in the name of, of in the name of Al Hussein. And O oh Allah, I ask you to protect them, their bodies and their souls, till they gather alongside on the day of judgment. Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala ahli baytihi tayyibin al-tahirin. Thank you, Sheikh, for that inspiring message. Now I'd like to invite Mustafa, Brother Mustafa back to share some verses of poetry. <laughs> we'll walk with you, oh, ya Hussein, 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 you're our guide, our shelter and hope. You stood up for the oppressed and the in need. We will always be strengthened by your stance and live with our dignity. We'll walk with you, oh, Ya Hussein. We'll walk with you, oh, Ya Hussein. With you, oh, you're our guide, our shelter, and hope. 
you stood up for the oppressed and the in need. We will always be strengthened by your stance and live with our dignity. We will walk with you. Oh, Oh, my God. 
political differences and uniting against oppression, we work towards causes like human rights, eliminating misogyny, and most importantly, eliminating ignorance. Towards the end of the journey to Karbala, after the battle in which Imam Hussein and his companions were killed, the lady Zainab Ali Salam, Imam Hussein's sister, played a role as a leader. Her leadership was impeccable, and she led the caravan of Imam Hussein Ali Salam and actively spoke truth to power. So much so that even Yazid felt threatened by her. This goes to show the importance of leadership from all. This great sacrifice of Imam Hussein is a beacon of guidance and the ark of salvation for every community and every nation.